Welcome to the first edition of Cancer Facts with Dr. B. I'm Dr. David Bryan. I'm a radiation oncologist and I've been in practice for over 20 years. I will try to simplify certain complex questions that cancer patients have to face using just the facts. Question number one, why would I decide not to have my prostate cancer treated? The simple answer is for most men with prostate cancer, treatment will not improve their chances of living over the next 15 years. To understand this, let's go over four key definitions. The first definition is what's called a randomized trial. A randomized trial is a tool physicians use to figure out how effective a treatment is compared to what we already have, the standard of care, or simply doing nothing, which we would call observation. So let's say we have a group of 200 men. By chance, we randomize or we separate that into 100 men that get a prostatectomy, and another 100 men that just are observed, and then we follow those men over the next 10 to 20 years to see what happens. One thing we wanna know is, is there an impact on their overall survival? So the overall survival is simply how many men are alive at 15 years uh, in one group versus the other group. The second definition is what's called prostate cancer specific survival. That asks how many men died of their prostate cancer within those 15 years. The last is what's called metastatic cancer or metastasis-free survival. Metastatic cancer is when a cancer starts in one organ and spreads to other parts of the body. So for prostate cancer, it likes to spread to the lymph nodes, typically found in the pelvis, the bones, especially the spine, or the lungs, but really it can spread to any part of your body. So understanding those four key definitions is key to understanding the role of different treatments for prostate cancer. So from two large randomized trials, we found that there is no benefit in terms of overall survival or prostate cancer specific survival at 10 to 16 years on these randomized trials. At best, there is a benefit in terms of reducing how many men develop metastatic disease at 10 to 12 years. So looking at this graph, we find that a prostatectomy can decrease the a number of men developing metastatic disease from five men out of 100 down to approximately 0% or less than 1% if they did uh, were randomized to a prostatectomy at the beginning of the trial. In one trial after diagnosis, patients were not followed so closely. And in this trial, approximately 20 of the men decided to get treatment at some point along the way within those 10 years. However, if patients are followed closely using what's called active surveillance, then only about 0.6 out of 100 men will develop metastatic cancer. That's six men out of 1,000 men would develop metastatic cancer at 15 years. On this trial, approximately 50% or one out of two men decided to get treatment within those 15 years. So in summary, we find that uh, from randomized trials, for certain men, especially low risk or low intermediate risk cancer, there is no benefit with a prostatectomy in terms of overall survival or prostate cancer specific survival. There is a benefit in terms of metastasis free survival, which can range from six out of a thousand men up to five out of a hundred men. Thank you.